Hello and welcome on to the story. My name is Peter. Hello to the story. We just going to see how we can be able to set minimum total one can purchase in your uh, in your e-commerce website or your WooCommerce website. One customer doesn't meet the minimum amount. He customer will not be able to check out or even uh, we don't be able to uh, to proceed to check out. It will have some errors and. That's the story for today. We are not going to install any plugin. The plugin is just going to install the one that we are going is going to help us to add the code to our e-commerce website. Between, if you are looking forward for any tutorial you want to see in my YouTube channel, add it on the comment section. I'll consider adding it very soon. Without further ado, let me just get into action and I show you how. So the first thing we just need to do, we need to head over to the dashboard, another dashboard menu. We have uh, the button for the plugin, select a new because we are going to add a plugin that will facilitate for us to be able to add the code. If you know how to add the code using the function.php, you can add the code without installing this plugin. But with, uh, to avoid many, many, to avoid many mess up, let me use this short uh, way. Let me show you how to do it. Search for code snippet. This is a plugin that is going to be able to, this is a code that will help us to add the code. Here we have it. It is called Code Snippet from Code Snippet Pro, 700,000 active installation. I have already installed it in my website and uh, it's already active. So what you just need to do, and once you be, have installed and activated, you'll be able to see it on the dashboard menu. Now you have the button for the snippet. Select snippet on offer. We have this menu option, select or if you want to see all the snippets that are available and we are going to add a new snippet so let me add just one snippet so allow me to just copy just a small just a small text here so for easy identification i like to add the link name so i just name it as the set the minimum order so the other thing i have included i have included the link on the description and i have also simplified the way you just can copy this code or just need to do is click on this uh, icon here and to just copy all the code here just come here and paste your code so you can see here we have all the code so we can say the minimum here is 250 on line number five we have just exactly copied the, uh, the code i have i have so the minimum here on line number five here we have the minimum amount you can change it to the one you wish and here we have the error that is going to be displayed so let me say uh, i want to set the minimum is 20 like that and after that i can just save my code here and remember to line the snippet everywhere i like to line it uh everywhere you can learn it you can also learn it on the front uh, front head so i save and activate the code once now it's activate, activated, we can head over. Let me just open this in a new tab here. Let me just open my site in a new tab. Here we have it. You can see the card here already is about uh, the amount total here is much. Let me try to uh, minimize this one. And also let me view the card here. You can see we don't have so let me just add one piece and i update here and let me just first of all look the amount so let me just set my amount here to be something like a hundred like that and i save the changes uh let me refresh here so you see the minimum total purchase is this one is required so if one proceed to check out customer get this there is a need issue and go back and solve the issue so once the customer is done to the cart here he can be able to troubleshoot let me just add something like six here and i update my cart you see now it's working well and one can proceed to check out and finish the order i hope you did learn something out of this story if you did learn something out of this story hit the thumbs up if you're new here consider subscribing till next time thank you